So how do they truly feel about you right now? Let's start off with a tarot card. We have the Three of Swords. We have excitement. Their true feelings. We have alienated. Let's look at a message card as well. We're going to look at lots more of all of these cards as we go through this reading. We have this love is truly magical. So what they feel about you is this excitement. It's magical. It's very, very deep. I feel like I, I see your person as being like really, really stunned right now. I feel like a lot of wounds are coming out. This is a, a love that is so powerful. There's some deep enlightenment coming in to do with a lot of wounds from their past where they're feeling alienated. They're coming up to the surface. It's like you and your connection really brings the light to them, really brings the truth to them about how they felt so wounded in their life. Before they met you, they felt very alone, very isolate, isolated, alienated. So it's uprooted from the 3D. So yeah, something major has happened here recently that's really lifted your person out of the social matrix, the 3D, the illusions. And they're seeing it, it's like they're seeing their wounds clearly about how they felt so alienated in this world and how they felt like their true self, they had to hide their true self away behind masks and walls, because in this world, in the social matrix, they felt like their true self has been unacceptable, their spontaneous soul, um, this would have been shut down like in childhood, and their true self would have been hidden within for self-protection, and it's like some powerful clarity has come in about this, and it's really blown your person's mind. I feel like you and your person have the same kind of wounds. It just said 222. So, yeah, feeling very misunderstood in life. This is all that heartbreak. This is like their wounded inner child or their, their lost soul hidden within that's been crying or mourning or feeling numb. It's all coming up to be released. It says feeling lonely, not fitting in, caught between dimensions. Wow. Um, soul self awakening. Yeah, something's really powerfully shifted to make them very aware of who they really are. And they're a lot closer to spirit. So yeah, caught between dimensions. Your person has gone through life feeling like on the surface they have to present this um, false self, a very limited version or fake self that was more socially acceptable and they had to sort of abandon their true self or push their true self down and this is one of the main reasons why your persons felt so alienated in life like they were felt lost and trapped inside their own walls it was a prison but they needed that from childhood onwards in order to protect themselves but obviously in childhood they didn't know that's happening. It's like a subconscious survival mechanism. But caught between dimensions, it's like that trapped inner self, the soul, it had to go somewhere. So it was within. And you, your person, and this is why they're so mind blown. It's like there's this deeper recognition of how you are mirrors of each other. You have the same wounds, you have the same journey, you have the same inner soul depth. You and your person, you are both on this powerful journey, especially now together of reawakening to who you are, the lost parts of your soul and integrating that and coming out from the walls, coming out from the imprisonment. But there's just some mind-blowing like realization at just how incredibly mirrored you are and the clarity of that this is what is really going on here. And um, just this deeper feeling of resonance, like this excitement and this love is truly magical is your person and you being absolutely mind-blown. 
um, that this is why you've met to bring each other back to your true selves, bring each other home to the higher dimensions and freeing yourselves from being imprisoned in this 3D world. So they see you as incredibly loving, incredibly nurturing with the Empress here. To me, this is the divine womb. You and your person are like twins. Many of you could be, could, you know, relate to the twin flame label, but you're, you're like these twins in the womb. Um, and this is the divine womb that's allowing you both to grow into your true selves. This was that safe sanctuary, that inner world, but now you and your person, because you are the same soul, you are the same vibration, you reside in that internal world together. You're no longer walking around feeling so alienated and like it's just you in that internal world, in, you know, your, your souls within, you are there with each other. And this love, it's so nurturing. They find you to be so empathic, so understanding. Like you see into them, into these deeper subconscious levels that they weren't consciously aware of or they weren't as consciously aware as they are now. And I feel like for you as well, this person's light, this person's soul, this remembrance you both have of each other's souls it's it's really brought it home to you it's made it clear to you that this is what you've been experiencing in your life feeling alienated and this is the journey of returning to your your souls and who you truly are yeah look you are soul family um this is the ten of pentacles is that firm foundation this is the stability this is that divine womb the safe internal world where you both reside together this person they find you to be incredibly nurturing compassionate understanding you truly want the best for them you are truly unconditionally loving and this is what you feel about them as well and this is them um, being this amazing provider and they, they desire to be this amazing provider for you as well. Like this is how you both are with each other. There's a lot of wisdom. You're both very wise because this focuses on this old man here. The two dogs is like this loyalty of your souls. A lot of this could be wounds to do with family and upbringing you know like your parents could have been wounded from their parents it's passed down from generation to generation i'm hearing you've come in for some of you you could be from these other dimensions or other you have more experience on other planets um, but definitely you're from these high dimensions. You and your person agreed to come in and be born into these family bloodlines and situations in order to um, stop like this pattern going down the bloodline. To stop those family cycles, you are bringing consciousness into an unconscious pattern. You could have been extremely hurt in childhood, but it's just like... A subconscious projection from their wounding because this is all about the family unit the mother energy and then we have the three swords the wounds you are nurturing each other back into who you really are the parts of you that felt like you had to hide away yeah let the nine of ones this is clearly saying the wounds here this is that defensive energy you're both extremely strong this is the wounded warrior this is the hanging in there there's some sort of storm i feel like this deep realization that's happening right now it's so powerful that a lot of past memories and wounds could be coming up right now but you provide strength for each other to move through this and bring light into this. This love that you share is bringing love and light into these wounds. They want to protect you. This is a protective, nurturing energy that they have for you as you have for them as well. They're feeling excited, okay? They're, they feel and 
experience and witness within you as well the immense healing and transformation, the freedom that is happening every step of the way. Power. Yeah, look, this is like a meditative state. Um, and this is focusing on what's happening here. Your person going inwards a lot. You both are. This is an ape, so that infinity symbol. You both reflecting each other. This is the sun and moon, the masculine and feminine, or the yin and the yang. This bringing together, it's like I'm hearing from spirit. You've both aligned with an aspect of your soul that was missing and that's why you've come into alignment with each other you are fragments of the same soul <laughs> that's a deep message but you are and this person is moving through this gateway now of so much more personal empowerment this is what you've always wanted you for both of you deep down your biggest desires were to feel free to feel confident to feel spontaneous like you can express yourselves without having to constantly and subconsciously always be on high alert and second guessing yourself and being hyper vigilant if that's the word about how you're coming across hyper aware of how you're coming across and holding back and being more of the acceptable version yeah look at this being walked all over adaptability <sighs> yeah it's like you've both been bent and maneuvered and you were like young children in a harsh world you were like putty in the world's hands and you were molded to the image of how the world expects everyone to be how your parents expected you to be and a lot of that and I'm speaking as a parent myself a lot of it is like when you don't know what to do um to teach your child or you don't know how to cope with a certain situation you do often think well how did my parents do that how did my parents cope with this or you know how do other people and sometimes you can subconsciously repeat the pattern and it may not be the best thing but your parents would have done the same thing, thinking what what did their parents do in this situation? But now you're you're breaking this pattern by being more aware and being like, well, maybe that isn't the best approach. How can I do things differently? But yeah, this is your you and your person trampled all over by societal expectations. Everyone is to differing degrees, but it's like you're molded into the image that others expected of you and it was from such a young age that you've always felt like there's this part of you within that's that has been like suppressed or pushed down yeah look secrets a lot of this pain that your person and yourself has felt is about feeling very secretive these secrets is like <gasps> I must keep my true self a secret. I must hide how I really feel. You know, I can't express my true feelings. I can't express my true opinions. I can't just be spontaneous like I was as a really, really young kid. Because I'm going to be met with pushback or judgment or being told off or told what I should be doing instead so that spontaneity was sort of snuffed out and it led to being very secretive and feeling very lonely because of that it's like not feeling safe basically or support to be your true self so you have to become like a lie and then all of the trauma that goes along with that and all of the confusion that goes along with that as well Quarrel, yeah, this is like your person and yourself felt like you had to hold yourselves in, otherwise you'd constantly have to come up against this pushback, quarrels, arguments, being told how you should be, being told who you really are is wrong, you should be more of that dulled down version, again this is all societal input. And people thinking, you know, society's doing it right because everyone's doing it like this. So this is how it should be. And and as a parent, you can actually feel afraid. You're like, <gasps> like the child is, 
I don't know, like acting up in a certain way and you're like well, trying to handle that situation based on what society around you would expect or but again you're you're sort of looking deeper now and breaking those patterns how do they feel about you right now what is really going on piercing eyes there's something about your eye contact it's like your soul's really really powerfully communicating you reach each other beyond the false selves beyond the walls beyond the masks and this is like an automatic thing when you look at each other especially it's like you you realize you're both in that internal world that other dimension within yourselves your third eyes are communicating it says seeing into your soul reading each other deeply psychic connection it can feel uncomfortable because you've you've worked subconsciously your whole life to create very thick walls and barriers so that people couldn't see or suspect your true self because that was unacceptable so now you both see each other for who you really are and it's it's really mind blowing it's really amazing you feel deeply loved because you do feel that love is present on that from the other from you know from each other uh, you feel that love within your hearts and souls you recognize each other's struggles you recognize each other has felt so imprisoned but it can feel uncomfortable because there's still in the subconscious these beliefs that who i truly am is unworthy who i truly am is unlovable this is what this connection is healing the love all of the love that's coming in now is building you both up in love it's replacing the wounds but the wounds have to come out they're like pushed out by the love so it can be triggering there, yeah, feeling very self-conscious. You both feel very naked and vulnerable in each other's presence. But it, it, you love it, but it's scary. Telepathy, intense, yeah, it happens through intense eye contact and through telepathic communication that is always happening even when you aren't in each other's physical presence. Integration, wow, spirit is coming forward here and saying that the truth, the soul, the remembrance of who you really are, the confidence is integrating back into both of you, absorbing the learned lesson or absorbing, reabsorbing your souls. This connection is all about seeing clearly who you truly are, your worth, that you are lovable, that you are that infinite soul and breaking free from the chains. Complete understanding through experience. Wow. So, yeah, some of you are these higher dimensional beings and you purposely came here to break these patterns to help uplift the consciousness in this world. Um, one small step at a time, you know. So, um, yeah, it said um, complete understanding through experience. You had to experience th firsthand how everyone is trapped in fear, trapped in the chains of the social matrix, trapped in the darkness of illusion, you know, the, the true self being dampened down. That's including the intuition and every, the, you know, the nature of the soul all being suppressed so much that we forget ourselves, we have amnesia. You had to f experience that firsthand to be able to then integrate the truth again and then help, you know, this experience helps you to help others. And as you clear it for yourselves, you're clearing it for the collective as well. Becoming um, the increased consciousness, you're actualizing your souls. And yeah, you are these grounding forces. Yeah, you are this yin and yang together that really you merge and it helps to ground this energy back into yourselves and that energy moves out through these roots or through your energy to the world around you it has this ripple effect it says grounding higher vibrations light workers yin and yang animate en emanating more love becoming the real you this was your soul mission okay 
So you chose to come here to this earth plane to experience all of this harshness. And you could both be like these very strong introverts because of all of this wounding. And you're so used to this being free in the soul, in these high dimensions, that it's been very harsh, but it's really, it's been so harsh, and it's felt so alien to you to be so repressed in this world that it's made you fight subconsciously your whole life. You've been fighting and searching to come back, to integrate your soul, to be free, to be your true nature. It's like you both have this strong knowing that your true nature is freedom. And I do feel it's because you are like these volunteers that have come here or for some of you you've incarnated so many times that you are this old soul here on earth so you naturally have that strong intuition where you just you know that all of the limitations and social matrix is a load of bull crap basically <laughs> like it just doesn't feel right at all let's look at some messages cards their true feelings right now don't worry, everything is okay. So they see you as this very, very powerful support. You've come in, you've completely changed their perspective in terms of you've just opened their eyes even more powerfully, even more clearly. You've lifted the veil. And you are, to each other, you are the ones that are like, don't worry, everything is okay. You are offering your hands to each other, holding hands through this journey. Thank you for waking me up. They have so much gratitude towards you. They're mind blown right now because you put the puzzle pieces together. You... For some of you, there could be an age gap. So the older person has obviously been here longer in this lifetime. So you've been searching for longer. Um, so you may help this person make sense of things, but you both help each other make sense of things very powerfully. But there is this sense that they met you and they've had this huge awakening, like their subconscious has caught up into their conscious awareness. I recognized your soul immediately. This is because you have this powerful soul agreement that you would meet each other to start this huge transformation with this butterfly here, this huge metamorphosis. I, you recognized each other's souls, so it immediately took you into the awareness of your souls and the infinite and this is the real me this is the real you the soul this is the real realm and all this other stuff is an illusion so i'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading i'm going to start off by looking at lots more messages cards from different decks to really see what does your person really need you to know right now about their true feelings and what's really going on with them and we're going to look very deeply into messages from spirit what is really going on in your connection and what is unfolding right now and next between you both as well. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So I really hope to see you over there. If this reading has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you over on the extended.